What is up guys, I'm Francis the Instructor and welcome to another Armchair Instructor video. So today I want to talk about something that happened last month in July. Sadly, YouTuber and television presenter Emily Hartridge died when the e-scooter that she was riding collided with a lorry in Battersea, London. Also in the same month, a 14 year old boy on his e-scooter collided with a bus and was left in a critical condition. So let's talk about the use and safety of e-scooters and other kind of electric powered vehicles on our roads and pavements. So due to these recent tragedies, there's been calls for tighter regulations around e-scooters and other electric powered vehicles. The Department of Transport classes electric scooters as personal light electric vehicles because they're powered by a motor and you can't use them on anything other than private land. So you can't ride electric scooters or other vehicles powered by an electric motor on the road because the DVLA requires all electric vehicles to be taxed and MOT'd. And you also can't ride them on the pavement because the 1835 Highways Act prohibits anyone from riding a carriage on the pavement. This is the same ruling for hoverboards, electric skateboards, scooters, twist throttle electric bikes and one wheels. <laughs> like this one. So pedal assisted electric bikes are okay to use on the roads, just as normal bicycles are, as long as the electric assistant cuts out at 15 and a half miles an hour. So in the UK, e-scooters and other electric powered vehicles fall under the definition of a motor vehicle. They must adhere to UK motor laws, including having insurance, a number plate and an MOT, which is why it's probably not really realistic for you to drive them or ride them legally on the roads. On top of that, they've also got to have mirrors, brake lights and indicators. Some do, but not all of them. Unfortunately, if you are found riding one of these on the roads or pavements, you could have a £300 fine and get six points on your driving license, even if you don't have one. If you don't have a driving license and you get six points on your driving license, that means once you pass your test, you're already gonna have six points on there and they stay with you for six years. As well as that, you could also have your vehicle confiscated. Nobody wants that. Electric scooters are available to buy in the UK and prices go anywhere from £100 to way more than £1,000. You can also hire them. Like in London, you've got lots of different cycle hire schemes. They run all over the UK as well. You can also hire electric scooters. Some e-scooter riders may be unaware of the public ban as manufacturers and sellers and even some hire companies bury this fact in their terms and conditions. But companies are not currently required to provide some safety features like you would find on a car, indicators, brake lights and some electric scooters only have one brake which makes stopping safely a little bit more difficult. E-scooters can be really good. They don't use up any petrol, so they're good for the environment. You won't get stuck in traffic. And if you ride them responsibly and safely, they can be just as safe as bikes. But here's the problem, guys. According to the Associated Press, at least 11 people have died since January 2018 that were riding electric scooters and got caught up in a road traffic accident. So let's look at the wider picture. Technology is constantly advancing and changing. There are so many more exciting transportation methods being invented all the time. So at the moment, the UK government's trying to work out what they're going to do about this. What do you guys think? Should they outright ban them first and then make up the rules? Or should they just make up the rules and safety faster? Every cyclist and e-scooter on the road is one less car on the road for you to get stuck in traffic with and breathe in fumes from. Or are they just creating more hazard for drivers? Please remember though, guys, it's for your own safety. Everything traveling at speed could be a danger to yourself and others. Use them responsibly. So guys, I hope you found that video helpful. Even if it just helps one person be safe on the road, I've done my job. Comment below, what do you think about e-scooters and other electric powered vehicles? I respond to all the comments. I'm gonna be commenting back there with you. Let's start the conversation. Follow me at Francis the Instructor. Follow Get Licensed Driving School and I'll catch you guys in the next video.